Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is the Eversource Hartford Marathon from Hartford, Connecticut. The race starts right in front of the state capitol on Capitol Avenue and quickly takes a right on Broad Street. Road kicks up just a bit as we cross under Route 84. Now stay to the right side of the road as we'll be taking a right onto Farmington Avenue. Come up and over this small rise and then we'll have a really nice downhill. Now at this point in the course, we're heading towards Bushnell Park, which is gonna be on the right-hand side. And that's where the finish line is, but we still have quite a bit of work to go before we get back to the finish line. We cross through mile one, we're running right through the center of downtown Hartford. Pretty cool place to run. Just gonna continue straight. We're going to go through a number of sets of lights, but we're just going to continue straight through all these lights. Now, right about here, you'll be faced with your first challenge of the day. Just after mile two, you're going to have a long, slow, gradual uphill. You're going to pull yourself up this hill. And right at the 40 mile an hour sign, you're going to crest the hill right here. And then you're going to have a nice downhill. So again, don't go overly hard on this uphill. Just let yourself settle into a pace and slowly pull yourself up the hill. You don't want to burn too much energy early on in the race. Now stay the right side of the road so we'll be taking a right into Riverside Park. As you cross through mile three as you come up and over this railroad bridge, look in the distance. What an incredible view. Just a great view of downtown Hartford. Okay, now we're entering Riverside Park. Now this is a really cool part of the course. There's always a lot of people in Riverside Park running and cycling and picnicking in the park. So we're going to run right alongside the Connecticut River, which will be on your left-hand side. Just a perfectly flat path through this section of the course. A little bit of a rise here as we continue on the river walk. We cross through Riverfront Plaza. Right about here, the road's just going to kick up just a bit. And then it's going to kick up just a little bit more as we run right alongside the highway. I'm going to cross over the railroad tracks and head back out onto the road. I'll stay the right, so we'll take a right on Sheldon Street. Again, beautiful views in the distance. We're just going to continue straight on Sheldon Street as we run against the one way. Now at the end of the road, we're gonna take a right on Prospect Street as we start to head back towards downtown Hartford. Now as we take this right on State Street, you can look in the distance and we're gonna actually cross over the Founders Bridge. This is another really cool part of the course. Now take a quick look to the right, you can see great views of the city. Stay to the right side of the road, we'll actually be exiting the bridge right at exit three. As we cross over now, we're, on, we're in East Hartford, which is on the other side of the Connecticut River. Now stay to the right side of the road, at the end of the road, we're gonna take a right on East River Drive. Cross through mile seven. So we're going to take a left and head towards Great River Park. Okay, this is a bike path that works its way around the uh, building on the left hand side and enters Great River Park. Now, this part of the course, we're actually going to run alongside the Connecticut River but on the other side of the water. So, again, pretty cool to run on the, this side of the river walk. Beautiful views of the river on the right hand side. And this is a very popular park as well, with a lot of people that use the boat launch and picnic in this park as we cross through mile eight. A little bit of an arise as we exit the park and then take a right back onto East River Drive. Again, nice and flat through this section of the course. As we do a loop through Riverview Square. 
Twin River Magnet Middle Schools on the right hand side, but we're going to take a left and head back towards East River Drive. Across through mile nine. Take a left onto Main Street, which is Route 5. Again, nice and flat through this section. Now, as we take this left on Carroll Road, the road was beat up just a bit, so just be aware of that. Now, this part of the course is an out and back, so we'll actually be seeing this, course, this part of the course again coming in back in the opposite direction. Just gonna continue straight. And most of this section of the course is just slightly rolling to flat. So no major climbs on this section of the course at all. Take a left on King Street. Now as we cross through mile 12, the neighborhoods on both sides of the road are gonna change quite a bit. It's gonna become much more rural as we leave the city and head out into the country. Again, just slightly rolling hills through this section. No big hills at all. As we cross through mile 13 and the halfway mark of the race. Now stay the right side of the road. We'll be taking a right on Main Street. Now as we take this right on Main Street, the next eight miles of this course are on Main Street. This is the most crucial part of the event. Now one might say that miles 14 through 22 in any marathon would be very important, but the next eight miles of this course are almost completely flat and there are almost no turns. There's just one turnaround. Um, on this entire stretch of road. So if you can settle into a good pace and just let your legs churn these miles away, you can have a really good day and make up some time on this course. Again, there's beautiful homes on the left and right and farm country. It's a very quiet area. Again, I, the, the key is just to settle into a nice pace and just let the miles melt away. Really gotta just maintain your concentration and just keep focusing ahead of you. Again, the road is completely flat. So there won't be too many distractions on this part of the course. And certainly no hills to slow you down. Now the Hartford Marathon also has the Hartford Half Marathon and 5K. And a total of almost 14,000 runners compete in these events every year. Now, shortly after, shortly after mile 17, we're just going to turn around and head back on Main Street. So again, just a turn around in the middle of the road. Really cool part of the course as you run through really quiet, uh, country neighborhoods versus running in the downtown Hartford and running in the parks. So quite a different terrains throughout this entire event to make it interesting. As we cross through mile 19. Continue straight as we approach mile 20. Again, perfectly flat. I'm sure you, as you're watching this video, you can realize that if you can just keep your focus up and keep your pace up through this long section on Main Street, you can really have a good time. It's not very often on a marathon course where we have this length of time without a hill, certainly in New England.
we approach mile 22, stay to the right side of the road as we'll be finally leaving Main Street. As we take a right back out onto Route 5 or Main Street. Stay the right as we'll be taking a right back onto Prospect Street and retracing our steps as we start to head back towards the Founders Bridge. Now again, this part of the course just has slightly rolling hills, but it's mostly continues to be flat. Again, even a small incline like the one right here is gonna hurt at this point in the race. But again, no big hills to have to deal with late in the race. continue straight. Again, the road's a little bit beat up on this section of the course, so just be aware of that. Center Park is on our right-hand side as we cross through mile 24. Now stay on the right side of the road. We'll be taking a right back onto Route 5. Then we'll be taking a quick right onto Pitkin Street. In the distance, you can see downtown Hartford, which is where we're heading. As we cross through mile 25, we're going to take a right and actually go up the exit ramp to get onto the Founders Bridge. So once you're on the bridge, again, beautiful views of the city in front of you. You know you're very close to the finish as you have a nice downhill coming off the bridge as we head towards downtown Hartford. Just going to continue straight through several sets of lights. We're going to cross through mile 26 and then take a left and enter Bushnell Park and have an incredible finish underneath the Memorial Arch. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com.